Someone that comes in now, they can hit the ground running at a level that I would say a new guy in TV Magic can uh, outperform a guy that's got five years experience. So I wanted to be closer to home. I was uh, really tired of, of working away, flying in, flying back out. Uh, so I wanted to work from home and I also was looking for something that was going to pay a respectable wage from home. Before TV Magic, I was working as a mechanic in Toowoomba. It took me four years to train for that which and, and I ended up hating it and uh, eventually I was made redundant and uh, fell into TV Magic. I was, I'm, I'm actually quite glad I was made redundant so that I could find TV Magic and, and actually make some money. But I like to ask people this, how much do you expect a, an average tradie to charge to come out around to your house? Like a call out fee is like $100. A lot of trades, skilled tr professionals will work on around about $100 an hour. Um, combine that with some really clever products and services and that are in high demand and common for an average wall mount or an antenna install in the industry from anyone to be a couple of hundred dollars. So if you're getting three to five jobs a day, there's your thousand dollars of sales a day and there's your five thousand dollars a week. It's just a marketing game. We make it as easy as possible for them uh, to get those leads. One, we train them and they're also being fed leads from head office. It uh, is as easy as it possibly can be. As long as the technician and the, the new business owner is willing to answer the phone, they've got a great attitude and they can work the system. Everything else usually falls in place. So I spoke to Shane a lot, kept in contact with him after that. Uh, after a load of questions about facts and figures, end up talking to uh, probably about five or six of the other different franchisees and asked them their story and finally uh, decided to, to sign. So the freedom of the business gives me the opportunity to go and buy the, the toys that I, that I want to buy to go and enjoy myself, such as mountain biking or uh, fishing stuff or boats. I used to, buy, used to own a boat, um, cars, all that sort of stuff. Um, it really, really, really makes me happy. We do monthly Zoom meetings. We've got regular contact with your training manager on, go on standby support from head office from training manager and even within our culture we've got other franchisees that go out of their way to help uh, another franchisee. Why? Because they're part of the family. The best part of being a TV Magic franchisee is uh, working for yourself, being your own boss, uh, making your own schedule and earning your own money. It's really profitable. You run your own business, you set your own schedule. If you want to work seven days a week, you can, or if you want to work four, three or four days a week, you can. So. I mean, we even had a new franchisee start and we had seven of our South East Queensland franchisees come and meet the new guy uh, for breakfast, time out of their work week just to shake this guy's hand and meet him. And that's a part of our culture. TV Magic franchise, the earning potential, it can be as high as a quarter of a million dollars, when you, particularly when you get multiple vans on the road. We've got single operators, a single van can earn that kind of money as well. Bridge, our franchisees earn 100, 120 take home income. So those goals that I set, looking at the figures um, when I was thinking of buying is I wanted to make $5,000 profit per week, um, even if it was just one week of the year. And it took me about 15 weeks to, to reach that and it's become a, a regular thing. Things like Foxtel distribution and UTV points, they're just little, little add-ons that we can get in there. And, make a bit of extra cash. We're looking for someone that's willing to take that leap out of employee mentality. They want to work for themselves. They want to be responsible for their own results. I think starting your own business is, is as hard enough of a job as it, you know, as it is without buying a franchise and a proven and trialled system. As long as you're willing to learn handyman skills, some basic technology skills, go and drive, meet people, do the job, implement what we teach you in training. The one thing that we can't teach is the attitude. We've trained up guys that have had zero skills for the business to, to start the, the franchise. Uh, guys that, have li that literally sit behind a, a t uh, behind a computer and don't know how to hold a drill. So anybody that wants to give it a go can seriously pick it up and learn it. So with the support that you get and the amount of love that you get from head office to actually make something of it, is, it you, you just don't get it from other companies, from other franchises. It's, it's, it's unreal, it really is. When the franchisees rave about what they do, it makes me feel amazing because I think about how much of a success I was back in the day and they're doing 
double or even triple the results. They truly have come in and with our new systems and training since a decade ago, they've come in and stood on my shoulders and they're even standing on the, the training manager's shoulders. When they rave about their success, uh, there's good reason because they're making more money than most and the business is providing an income for them that they probably never dreamt of. Success for me is uh, waking up every morning doing something that you love. The satisfaction of not having someone tell you what to do, but that pride of knowing that you're doing it all because of me, because I'm the business owner. Uh, I see that on a personal level really change people's lives. It's a very empowering thing. If you've got the drive, you'd be silly not to buy it. <laughs> so it's, it's worked for me, it's changed my life and uh, I've seen it change many, of other, many, many other people's lives. So if you're thinking about joining TV Magic and coming on board, get excited, make the inquiry, this might be the best thing you've ever done.